Hi everyone and welcome to the Expert Guides YouTube channel. First and foremost, allow me to introduce myself first. I am Carlos C. Castillo. I'm a graduate of the University of the Philippines de Leman with a Bachelor of Science degree in Molecular Biology and Biotechnology. Thereafter, I took up both my Master of Science in Molecular Medicine degree and my Doctor of Medicine degree from the St. Luke's College of Medicine. So shall we start? This video, we will be learning about the difference between a scalar and a vector. What is a scalar and how is it different from a vector? At first, it may seem to be confusing, but hopefully as we go through this mini lecture, you would be able to differentiate which is which. First and foremost, what is a scalar? Scalars are quantities which are fully described by magnitude alone. When you say magnitude, think of it as the number and the unit alone and nothing else. For example, if you would look at this table, examples of scalars are length, mass, time, and speed. Take for instance length. 125 meters. It's just the number and the unit and nothing else. Just the magnitude, therefore length is a scalar quantity. The same goes for mass, 240 kilograms. We have the number plus the unit and nothing else. Mass would give you a scalar quantity. Time, 283 seconds and speed 878 meters per second again would involve just the magnitude and therefore these are examples of scalar quantities. On the other hand, when we talk about vectors, vectors are quantities which are fully described by both a magnitude and direction. Now see the difference? For your vectors, you now have direction. So again, vectors would have magnitude and direction, which makes it unique from your scalars. Examples of vectors are as follows. Position, force, displacement, and velocity. Take for instance position, 234 meters south. 234 meters would be the magnitude part. Then if you add south, which is a direction, that would give you a vector quantity. Again, magnitude plus direction, you would get a vector. Same goes for force. 829 newtons would be your magnitude plus northeast direction put them together, then voila, you have a vector, force. The same is true with displacement, 765 meters downward, and velocity, 123 meters per second to the left. Both would have magnitudes and directions, therefore both are vectors. Now see the difference again? Scalars would just have magnitude, vectors would have both magnitude, and direction. Now, in some cases, there are numbers in which they can be translated from scalars to vectors. For instance, 5 meters in itself would contain a magnitude alone. If you add direction, 5 meters right, it becomes a vector. As a scalar, it's called distance, but as a vector, since it now denotes direction, it's better to call it displacement, or in some cases, we call it position. Another example is, for instance, 5 meters per second. In itself, it contains magnitude, therefore it's a scalar. But when you add direction, north, to make it 5 meters per second north, it now becomes a vector. As a scalar, it's called speed, but as a vector, it's better called velocity. Now, how about time? Five seconds would be magnitude. 
what would be the vector counterpart of time? Or let me rephrase the question. Can we put direction to time? No, -uh, we cannot because time is just a scalar quantity and it's very awkward if we say five seconds up. Words that seem weird. So time is just a scalar quantity and it does not have a vector counterpart. All right? So again, hopefully by now you would know the difference more or less between a scalar and a vector. Now let's try to test yourself. You have here four quantities and let me know which one's a scalar and which one's a vector. First, 100 kilograms. Is this a scalar or a vector? Yes, it is a scalar quantity. Again, if it only contains magnitude, as in the example, 100 kilograms, then it would be a scalar quantity. How about 30 meters per second squared northeast? Is it a scalar or a vector? Yes, it is a vector quantity because again, what do vectors have? Both magnitude and direction as seen in this second example. How about temperature? Is temperature a scalar or a vector quantity? Probably think of it. Can I add direction to temperature? Well, not really. You cannot say, I have fever, I am 38 degrees Celsius to the north. It sounds weird, right? So, temperature is just a scalar quantity. And finally, acceleration. For instance, you are driving a car at 10 meters per second squared to the north. It both contains a magnitude and a direction, so acceleration is a vector quantity. Hopefully by now, you are now able to differentiate which are scalars and which are vectors. Again, scalars are quantities that contain magnitude alone, while vectors are quantities that contain both magnitude plus direction. I hope you learned in this video. For the next video, we will be talking about an introduction to mechanics. For this topic, you will be learning what's the difference between distance and displacement, speed and velocity, acceleration, and probably some problems that would help you uh, understand these concepts better. Lastly, don't forget to like and share our page. That's facebook.com slash Expert Guides Review Center Katipunan. If you have any questions or concerns, just leave a message. If you want to be updated of our next videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And until then, see you and have a great day ahead.